I'm Bradley Rowe of the Hoosier Company, and I'd like to welcome you to the field application video for the Surface Patrol Mobile Temperature Sensor from Vaisala. In this video, we'll briefly discuss the operation of the digital display, as well as the proper technique for field calibration. In the product information video, we discussed the proper placement of the sensors and cables for the Surface Patrol. Now let's focus on the digital display. There are three momentary contact push buttons located on the front of the display. The push buttons are recessed and are accessed through small holes in the display cover using a small screwdriver or paper clip. The three holes for accessing the recessed push buttons are located above the surface temperature display area. Pressing one of the push buttons will generate a beeping sound as audio confirmation that the function has been initiated. From left to right, the recessed push buttons are designated menu zero, decrease, and increase. If the menu zero button is pressed and held for a couple seconds, you will enter the menu mode operation. If the increase button is pressed while in menu mode, this increases the current modifiable value. If the decrease button is held, this decreases the current modifiable value. When the display unit is in menu mode, you may select an alarm mode, a sensor calibration offset, alter the brightness of the LED display, or if equipped, specify an analog output range based on the temperature. The final step in the process is to calibrate the unit to make sure we're getting accurate temperature readings. Step one, prepare an ice bath in a cup, bowl, or any other container. Fill the container completely with ice and then fill with water until the ice is immersed. The ice must be chipped ice. If you use ice cubes in the water, the surface patrol can read the temperature of the ice and not the water. Ice is not always 32 degrees. It's the event of the ice trying to freeze the water that causes it to reach 32 degrees. That's also why the ice and water bath should be stirred frequently during calibration. Step two, place the ice bath directly under the sensor lens. It's okay to have someone hold the ice bath steady under the lens if that's easier than placing it on the ground surface. The surface patrol probe should be powered and allowed to run for at least 20 minutes in the environment where the calibration is performed before starting the calibration procedure. Step three, with a straightened paper clip or other small rigid item, press and release the small recessed button at the top left of the display unit. You should hear an alarm sound. If you don't hear the alarm, the sensor is not pointed directly at the ice bath. Try repositioning the ice bath. Once the alarm sounds, the leftmost digits on the display will flash. If they don't, try again. Keep the ice bath in place for six to seven seconds until the leftmost digits quit flashing. If they don't quit flashing, the unit is not calibrated. Try again. Finally, once the display quits flashing, the unit is now calibrated to 32 degrees. Remove the ice bath and your unit is ready to use. If you do business in Indiana, Illinois, or Missouri, and would like to speak to someone about setting up a product demo, or how you can make the Surface Patrol part of your winter arsenal this year, or any other product that we carry at the Hoosier Company, please view the other videos on our YouTube channel, visit our website at www.hoosierco.com, or call us at 317-876-6675.